Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to talk about HBAR. We're going to start with this. HBAR is definitely the number one long-term hold. It is about to take the world by storm and very, very few know about it. If you're not in the crypto space or you're not invested in crypto, most people don't know what HBAR is. I'll say to them, you know, hey, you're invested in Ethereum. Why not invest something into HBAR? And people are like, HBAR, what is that? So then I'll explain use case and utility. And then all of a sudden they start to realize what HBAR is. I mean, everybody's heard about XRP thanks to the SEC lawsuit and Bitcoin. And that's only because Bitcoin's been around forever. And the thing is, a lot of people are going to miss out on HBAR unless you talk about it. So, you ready? DeFi on Hedera is about to reach a whole new level. Don't get left behind. Saucer Swap, another great use case on HBAR or on Hedera. Janice Joplin, Deadhead in the House, Dead Poets, NFT. And I had to show these. These are incredible. There are some very, very good NFTs on HBAR. And I said it before, HBAR is the powerhouse of the NFT world, in my opinion. We are live on NFT Tears Rarity. Shout out to the team for smooth pro process. And again, some more of their work shown here. I mean, this one, the Edgar Allan Poe is incredible. I thought that was really good. And so is the Tupac. But again, HBAR is doing so many things, even in the bear market. Think about where HBAR is going to be maybe a year from now. I think the price is going to be much higher than people think. Hyperreal and Freeverse receive HBAR Foundation grant to develop Hyperdream, a new metaverse tool for fan engagement. Again, HBAR tied to metaverse, tied to NFTs. A well-rounded crypto. I say it all the time. If you're not invested in HBAR, you're definitely going to miss out. If you're invested in HBAR, you already know what you hold. So with Blade Wallet now on iOS, iOS Hashpack app soon on Android, Headstarter.org is poised to help Hedera become the primary DLT utility network in pushing disruptive innovation. I've said it before, I believe HBAR has some of the best tech in the entire crypto world. And people will always say, well, this crypto is much better than HBAR, that crypto is much better than HBAR. But the thing is, they don't understand what HBAR is about. It's so well-rounded. Plus, it's ISO compliant. So guess which exchange LCX will be suitable for? Banks to buy Bitcoin in a regulated and compliant way. That's why LCX is in the World Economic Forum, working around CBDCs and partnered with QNT, HBAR, and DAG to build a new regulated monetary system. Still, so many people sleeping on LCX. LCX right now is getting called a security by Gary Gensler. We all know that. This partnership with HBAR, in my opinion, is done for a reason. I believe this solidifies the fact that HBAR will be ISO 222 compliant for all the fudsters out there who keep telling you, well, it's just rumored to be. We can see it now. And they could get rid of all of that FUD finally. So USDC is basically the private version of a CBDC. USDC, the standard for stable coins. USDC will be used for many settlement solutions. For Ripple, it'll be on the XRP ledger. For Hedera, it will be on Hedera's hash graph. And that's the thing. HBAR is positioned everywhere to be part of everything. Consider the environmental environment when designing CBDCs, the IMF urges. 
in addition to processing payments faster with easier traceability and trust, CBDC has to be energy efficient. MTech uses Hedera. Think about that. So now you could see HBAR tied to the IMF. You could see it tied to the World Economic Forum. You could see it tied to the new financial system. You could see it tied to everything. Metaverse, Web3, NFTs, all of it. The choice is clear. Look at the partners. I mean, we know Boeing. My biggest one is Neuron. I think that company is going to be massive in the future. I think a lot of people don't realize what that partnership does for HBAR. And I think the thing is, a lot of people are too busy fighting on HBAR and hating on HBAR to actually see what HBAR is capable of. So ISO is happening. And now when we blow this up, we see right here, we see HBAR. Before, HBAR wasn't there. But the newer models of this show HBAR. They also now show Casper in an even newer one. And we see DAG in there also. And the thing is, people are still going to try to fudge you out of this. They're going to tell you this is not going to happen. I see it all the time on Twitter. People saying ISO is a scam. But yet the rest of the world already started building this. The rest of the world already has CBDCs up and running. Russia already has their digital currency and a CBDC. Europe has their own digital euro. They also have a CBDC. Smaller countries, even in South America, and some of the poorest countries are already starting to get their CBDCs. They're going to bank the unbanked. And Hedera is part of this new system, the fourth industrial revolution. The Uber partnership, another big one for HBAR. I, b I believe it will come down to partnerships in the end. XRP, government and banks, HBAR, Fortune 500s, and banks. Who will have more money flowing through it? You decide. doesn't matter how much money flows through it. What we're looking at right here, HBAR, Fortune 500s, and banks, they're going to have a ton of money flowing through them, as well as XRP. I always tell you on this channel to diversify, invest a little bit in everything. This way you're part of everything. If these cryptos start popping off, you know, massive numbers, you're going to make money left and right. Diversification is really good. Because think about it like this. Say you stake one of your cryptos, but you want to get some cash now. So, but maybe it's not time to get your rewards yet. Maybe you still want to keep it there and gain some more money. Now you could take this other crypto that you hold and cash out some of it to get you this cash you need while you wait. Or maybe you want to stake into something else. Well, now you have this crypto to put there. That's what's good about, you know, having a bunch of cryptos in your portfolio. You could do different things with them all at once. You could also gain more crypto from the crypto you already hold. So then we see this, HBAR, NFTs, no forks, CBDCs, dApps, rumored ISO 222, which we already debunked that whole thing. Hashgraph, DAG protocol, 10,000 transactions per second, scalable. 3 to 5 second finality, carbon negative, inner work alliance, 26 member governing council from all sectors around the world, passes worldwide data regulations. Regulations are going to continue to come down. There's going to be some harsh ones. The good thing is the cryptos that we talk about on this channel will pass all of those regulations. They're green, they're fast. They move all the money. They're going to be part of the new financial system. And guess what? That rumored to be, you can now say confirmed to be. Their partnership with IBM was enough for me to, to know that. So learn, live, love, and appreciate these assets. And the reason those assets are listed there is because, again, they're going to be part of the new system. 
They're going to be part of the fourth industrial revolution. Then we see this. Once ISO and clarity is issued, the world of finance, business, assets will change overnight. For those who have researched and waited years will be able to change their lives forever. This is the fourth industrial revolution. If you miss out on this, you are missing out on the opportunity of a lifetime. You will only be able to reflect back and say, I wish I did this, or I wish I did that. Now's the time to actually do it. I think we're getting very close. Things are moving very fast now, much faster than they did before. If you already hold HBAR, you know what you hold. Just keep being patient for a little while longer. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.